Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Hope everyone's doing well today. Merry Christmas, first of all. Christmas was a few days ago already, but yeah, happy late Merry Christmas and almost Happy New Year. I can't believe it's going to be 2021 pretty soon. And in the spirit of entering this new year, I decided to make a video where I'm just going to kind of do a recap of my year. Basically, I've just been doing a lot of reflecting, I think, a lot more than normal. I think it's just with COVID going on and a lot more downtime, I've had time to myself and like my own thoughts and everything. And also this year has been pretty chaotic in a sense, a lot has changed in my goals. I don't know, I thought it was just a very fitting time to film a video like this. I don't know if anyone's going to find it interesting, but if anything, I hope it's insightful in a way. I think I've been through a lot of things that maybe other people also have been through or maybe have thought about. Basically, I'm going to be talking a lot about college because if you didn't know, I'm in my second year and I went away for college for my first year of college. COVID happened and a lot of other stuff happened, which I guess I'll talk more about later just to give background. And basically, I don't go to that same school anymore. I'm not studying the thing I was studying there. I'll just hop into giving some background, I guess, and then kind of go chronologically through this year up to now and just share what changed in me, like why I made the decisions to drop out of the university I was going to and also just how my outlook on life has changed not to make it that deep but you guys know how this year was everyone else probably experienced similar things of just a lot of uncertainty and for me personally that uncertainty led me to also question a lot of things in my own life and so yeah let me just share some of that okay so starting off with the previous school i was at i went to humboldt state university which was a public like Cal State School. It was in Northern California, really beautiful place. I really enjoyed it there. I was studying environmental resources engineering there, so a specific branch of engineering more dealing with things like water or waste and other more natural elements. I chose that school because of the location and also how affordable it was for an out-of-state school. It was just I kind of wanted to experience that new environment and also just a different environment. Not necessarily that I didn't like Hawaii, it's just I grew up here my whole life, so I thought it'd be cool to get somewhere else. Plus it was really close to the price of the local like university here in Hawaii, um, UH Manoa. So they were like, yeah, I guess it's a pretty good deal and everything, so I went there. Like I mentioned before, I was studying environmental engineering there, and that was something I was pretty passionate about at the time. I chose that specific field because I definitely like the design and like innovation side of it but also wasn't super into computers or uh, electrical things or mechanical things in general so I kind of want to lean towards the more natural resources. Things like drinking water were pretty interesting to me. I thought I might want to work in the drinking or wastewater treatment field, maybe something like that. Of course I was a little bit intimidated just knowing and hearing things about engineering majors in general, just how it's pretty difficult and it's pretty understandable just because there's so much very like technical math science things where it's not things you like pick up in everyday life or like you can just read it and automatically understand it. There's a lot of labs to do and a lot of things like that. My mentality through the whole thing was of course it's going to be hard. I mean any major, anything you do really in life is hard in its own way and I just kind of kept telling myself it'll be fine, you'll probably struggle, but who doesn't and at the end of these four years you'll be out of here and have a nice secure job paying you a good amount of money. That was another thing too. I think a lot of my decision to major in that kind of did go towards like the money and financial side of it and also just like job security in general and it's kind of weird because I think I'm definitely I have a really split personality like part of me is very practical and so I went to the engineering side because I knew there's jobs in that market I knew the pay was pretty good and the other side of me is more 
like carefree and just like don't even care about whatever you get paid you'll find something as long as you're making some money you'll probably get through life so that part of me was kind of always more interested in maybe the plant sciences or something relating to health and that's the things I ended up doing now but from the beginning I kind of shifted to that more practical side. It also was something I was interested in. I wasn't doing it just for the money and I mean it's definitely still appeals to me like the idea of managing our natural resources and actually building the things that people need to live every day and I think in college I just kind of was able to figure out more what exactly environmental engineering is. I like kind of expected it but to actually hear from people in the industry. Like I went to a conference sort of thing where yeah they had people like speaking, guest speakers and you could just like kind of interact with people actually in the field and not like they were uninteresting or anything. It was just like dang hearing hearing the types of projects they were doing. Like I wasn't as excited as I hoped I would be. It was very much like, well, that's cool, uh huh, <laughs> you know? And like, I felt like I should have been more excited or like have some sense of eagerness to get to that stage, but I was just kind of like, dang, I might end up like that. And not to say that like engineering is bad, it's just I realized it wasn't for me. I think a lot of people are very set in like what they want to do and that's really awesome for them. It's just for me, I've just always had a lot of different interests and I realized I didn't explore a lot of them and it didn't really need to be that way. So definitely like my first semester of college, I was super into it still. It was kind of that excitement I feel like just being a freshman there in a new place. I really enjoyed all my classes. My favorite one was probably actually the intro to engineering course I took, but even that it was just very, like later on I realized it was very elementary level, you know, it was pretty much like here's an equation, here's the information, use it, or like just general rundowns of how different systems in environmental like energy or wastewater things work. And it was all very interesting to me, but like I said, like I knew that was a very basic level, like that is nothing close to the systems or like mechanics class I had to take later. Spring 2020 is when I uh, encountered more people in the industry. I went to like those conferences I was saying and just kind of like my interests kept dwindling over time. In addition to that, like all the classes I was taking were a lot more challenging not a lot more but like chemistry in particular I took like chem 2 that semester and it was just so like everything went over my head like I had to do so much studying for every exam because I was just so lost whenever I'd sit in a lecture that chem 2 class was definitely the most challenging for me and I was kind of like dang kind of gave me a taste of like what more upper level classes would be like especially when it wasn't something I was thoroughly interested in. But I kind of kept telling myself, you know, just push through it. It's hard, but at the end of this, you'll get a job, blah, blah, blah. I was also like pretty secure and like comfortable at that school. Like I had a job on campus. I was getting situated to try to move in with a friend the next semester off campus. And yeah, as I said, I really loved it there. It was just like, Nothing was to the point where I was like, I actually want to leave the school. It was like, oh man, this sucks sometimes, but it, I was very much still in that zone and routine of things. And then COVID hit. So during spring break, they basically told us, if you're able to go home, please do go home. So I ended up going home with my boyfriend. He came to visit me. So I had to pack up all my stuff. Leave, I left some stuff at a friend's house because at that point I still thought I'd be going back for the next semester, probably. I don't know, that was just when everything was really up in the air. People thought I'd be done in like a month or something, but... <laughs> I came back home to Hawaii and did online school for the rest of the semester. And that's kind of when I had like more downtime to reflect on everything and actually like notice my feelings a little bit more, kind of 
be with my own thoughts. I wasn't, I didn't have to go into an office or like have rehearsals every day. So it was just very different. Like I said, I was in a routine before and now I wasn't anymore. And I was actually queuing into my emotions. I probably spent the first few weeks just like figuring things out and I at that point I was still just like really confused what was happening if my school would even go back to in person the next semester and there was just like a lot of other things going on I think due to the pandemic I didn't like apply for any scholarships just because I was so confused what's going on and trying to adapt to online learning and so already there I was stressing about how I would even pay for college if I went back so money was definitely a factor if I would even have in-person classes was a factor because I just don't believe in paying like 10k for all online classes that sounded crazy and then also like I said I think I was just like noticing how much I kind of didn't want to do it when it came down to it like what I was learning I was not enjoying it a lot <laughs> Or I think I kind of enjoyed it still at that time, but it was especially like when registration came around and I was like, I don't want to take physics, I don't want to take another semester of calculus, I don't want to take, I don't even know what I had to take, but just like seeing all the names and reading what each class was about, like, I felt more intimidated than excited and I felt like that was a really bad spot to be in. I think I was still like semi-interested but yeah I was just kind of scared and very nervous overall. I think another big part of my my thought process was I realized I didn't like the four-year university. I felt kind of trapped, not really trapped but just like you're held in for at least four years or however long to get your degree. and. At the rate I was going, it just felt so long. I think before my mentality was, oh, it's only four years. But like later on, I came back and I was like, that's it's not only four years. It is four years, like four years out of your entire life. Not that I didn't enjoy my time at college. Just there were so many things I missed about home, like my family and my friends and everything. But just in general, there were so many things I wanted to explore more of and kind of take things slower in a sense because I realized how much I was always working. Like I was either working in the office or doing schoolwork, probably majority of the time just schoolwork and studying. Even my weekends were like filled up with extracurricular stuff and there was just very little time for myself and it was I didn't notice how much it was taking a toll on like my mental health I think until I had a chance to come back and kind of take a break from everything so yeah after kind of figuring out what my other options could be I then had to tell my parents which was so bad I don't know even why but I was just so nervous and emotional to tell them and I pretty much broke down crying when I told them I think it was more my own like shame i don't want to say shame but honestly at that point i was like ashamed to be dropping out of that school and basically dropping all my goals of engineering my parents were really understanding of course they're awesome i mean even them like they only went to community college and so i don't know what i was so nervous to tell them but it was definitely just myself all my scholarship money that I put towards that school and studying that felt like ugh. at that point I felt like everything was a waste my money and like the time in general but then after maybe like a month or so after that whole official decision came I was I came to terms with it a lot more and you know I decided to do a summer program interning like at a farm because agriculture was always something that I was kind of interested in and I decided to go to community college to study that so right now I'm studying sustainable agriculture at this point I'm still not really certain of what I want to do in life like career wise but I think this year I really realized like there's no point in rushing things you can kind of be unsure of what you want to do 
honestly like everything you do is going to add up to something if not in terms of your like technical skills it'll probably help with your personality or general things about just how you think so really like every experience is helpful in some way not everything you do has to be in pursuit of this one like particular goal and I think for a lot of people that's like their career everything is a learning experience and you're gonna figure it out sometime I'm only 19 years old and I think a lot of friends are around my age like early 20s and a lot of people act like we should have our lives figured out but like I think majority of us are pretty confused and the people who look like they have it figured out they're just faking their way through so I don't know we're all just trying our best here off topic we're kind of on topic but I watched the movie Soul the other night and ugh, it was just so good <laughs> like I kind of really reinforced a lot of these thoughts that I've been having recently I feel like for me the main takeaway was just kind of like you when you put so much into like this dream like for the guy his dream of doing like jazz music it was like something he thought would change his life or like suddenly make everything so much better like, there's a quote like you work to live you don't live to work and like I think a lot of people these days put so much weight into like whatever their career is gonna be I know I did like I thought engineering was gonna be my thing like it would bring me a lot of money a lot of happiness but I mean maybe it would have definitely the money part happiness I don't know kind of realizing like you can make a living out of anything like you don't need a ton of money or a ton of fame like it's just a matter of appreciating life itself and then work of course is an important part and I'd love to have a job where I enjoy what I'm doing and I look forward to going to work but it's not like that is my life or will be my life like your job is a fraction a portion of what you are as a person putting a lot less weight on this expectation of doing this certain thing in my future was really like uh, so liberating so freeing yeah at this point i'm kind of just trying to figure things out i want to at least try to finish my associate's degree in the sustainable agriculture program i'm doing i'm also doing I just finished actually my holistic nutrition program so I got certified as a holistic nutritionist not really sure what I'm gonna do with that either but for now I think it's just a matter of trying to share what I learned my dream job like projecting to the future would be something nothing specific but something where I can hopefully bridge together the health side but also food access and like growing the food itself side of things and something dealing with local farms and gardens and educating the public about health and picking good foods would be really awesome but I don't know I don't really know what I'm doing it's okay to not know exactly where you're going in life I think it's just important to keep learning keep learning something and just don't do nothing and if you're taking time to just educate yourself a little bit or just reflect on your life and maybe create new goals that's doing something you don't need to be doing huge leaps huge accomplishments every day just one step at a time so I don't know what this video was really for <laughs> hopefully I don't know maybe family and friends could just catch up with where I'm at at life and other people maybe I think any other people around my age transitioning to like college or adulthood it's just me hopefully relatable to you and a lot of friends of mine are kind of going through a similar point of just not really knowing where they're going in life I hope through this video you just realize you're not the only one I think a lot of people our age are faced with similar situations like this and I hope from this the takeaway is just don't put too much pressure on yourself for anything or have expectations for a certain life or to get a specific thing done by a certain time just so many things are up in the air especially now with covid but just in general too like 
so many things in your life can change and it doesn't need to be something dramatic it could just be a realization or a change of heart whatever you want to call it and that's kind of what happened to me I don't think it was COVID that changed my mind but definitely having those moments to kind of just be with my own thoughts was very helpful so if anything a takeaway would be to also maybe do some reflections of yourself it's a perfect time of the year the end of the year and we're entering the new 2021 in just a couple of days so yeah i hope you also do some reflecting look forward to whatever your new goals may be or what went well or what you learned from this year because i know i definitely learned a lot and just grew to appreciate a lot more that I have and I also put more value into just the small and like little things in life enjoying each day and learning what I can from whatever I do because you truly learn from everything and yeah <laughs> please give this video a like if you enjoyed it or share it with someone who you think might want to hear this message that I've shared and I hope you have a wonderful new year. Bye!